Right, Victoria, we're just three weeks away from the start of a new school year, which means kids are gearing up to start off fresh. And this morning we have Cynthia Gonzalez and Dr. Thurborough with the Institute of Child Health Services who are here to discuss a big back-to-school bash. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Uh, Cynthia, let's begin with you. Let's get right to it. What is this big back-to-school bash and how long have you guys been doing this? Well, this is our first year with uh, Dr. Timothy Thurber. And the, we are taking the opportunity to provide a back-to-school bash to provide immunizations for children heading back to school. We will be having uh, school supplies. There's several organizations that are participating, so we're very thankful that they're, they've come forward and, uh, to help us put this together. We have Driscoll Health Plan, Superior Health Plan, Molina Health Plan, or Molina Healthcare, Texas Wellness, um, Texas Medicaid Wellness, excuse me, and then 211 Texas, Texas Med Service. There's a lot of organizations coming um, and participating in this um, bash. And Dr. Thurber, tell us the importance of the immunizations. How important is it for the kids when they're going back to school? Um, I mean, what are the risks once they start that school year if they don't get those shots? Well, um, Texas law mandates that children going to school must have the required number of immunizations by the first day of classes. So it's never too soon to begin the back-to-school process. I know everyone's enjoying their summer vacation, but we must keep in mind that it takes also anywhere from one to three weeks for an immunization to take effect within the human body to protect children against the uh, disease that we're immunizing for. And with so many kids coming in contact with each other, uh, what are some of the most common I guess diseases that are out there that these shots can help prevent? Well one uh, disease in particular that we're most uh, concerned about right now is the resurgence of pertussis, that's whooping cough, in the community uh, in the state of Texas by, in, in the nation, I'm sorry, by July of last year, 20,000 confirmed cases of pertussis, whooping cough, had already emerged and we know that it's much more prevalent uh, by this year than it was last year. And whooping cough is potentially a potentially fatal uh, disease, especially in small infants and, and the elderly. Which and we have a lot of here in the valley, do, right? Yes. Cynthia, yeah. and tell us a little bit about some of the benefits to the parents. I mean, what are kids gonna walk away with from this bash? Uh, we will be doing, uh, or actually Dr. Thurber's office will be doing uh, well child checkups. Um, sports physicals, they're going to get their immunizations to get them ready to go back to school. Plus, they're going to get free school supplies. We're going to have uh, some door prizes and backpacks to give away. So it's a great opportunity. There's a lot of information being provided by several organizations like the WIC Clinic. Um, so there's a lot of information, for, information for everyone. Yeah, and those sports um, checkings or screenings, those are, I'm sure, really handy for everybody yes. out there. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us. And again, that's August 3rd. That's just in a week, a week from this weekend. So I hope everybody can make it out there. And Victoria, what do we have coming up?